Genesis 5. Interestingly enough, there's a player that is absent that has gotten a pretty significant win on him that has never gotten a win on him before at Midwest Mayhem 11, which is the buzz over MKLeo. Right. Historical stuff in the making, but unfortunately, the buzz not here at the event. But we do have some representation right here, still from North America, not quite United States, um, here from Canada. Captain L, repping the Pikachu here versus MKLeo in game one. Absolutely. And now, so the thing about Captain L, Captain L is a very talented Pikachu, easily up there in the best, like right next to Isen, right? But a lot of times people just don't know of him. When they think of Pikachu, they think of Isen because of his history with the character. But you cannot sleep on this guy. I say it time and time again. This guy is extremely technical. Arguably, there's some things that he does that E7 doesn't do, actually uncover in his gameplay either. So, there's, again, there's a lot of cool things that you're going to see from him. Uh, and I feel like just as uh, well as Captain Nell, E Sam, these guys are having stepping up to the plate and showing why this character Pikachu can be damn good. Wow, I have to say, right, the, the, like Captain Nell has been doing such an impressive job of just locking down MK Leo. But MK Leo, all he needed right there was just one down there and followed up with that temper just to send oh. Captain Nell out. But can we talk about those tech chases? Captain Nell managing to get that. Yep. Thunder. There's a chase. I love that chase. Yep, of course. And the thing is, when you have such a versatile recovery, such as Pikachu, you have the ability to go out there. Especially on a character like Marth, that's not going to have the best recovery. So really well done by Captain L. And now he's getting that damage with these up. Oh, this is so true. You know, mm -hmm. a character like Pikachu does have a lot of great combo tools. You're looking at the upper, looking at the, uh, the even the forward air, and even the throws, right? The throws allow Pikachu to get those great follow-ups. So here it is right now, of course, MKLeo trying to see if he can just push wow. L off to the side. And you know, that second hit of the neutral air oh, is yeah. very scary. You don't want to get caught in a situation like that. Not here it is, at all. Dancing Blade. Leo keeping up the pressure. Yeah, what a chase here from Leo. Okay, this time around it's going to be switched. Let's see what Captain L can do. Are we going to see another potential recovery? No, he's not going to get it. Yeah, but situation with Captain L with his back to the edge right now, trying to see if he can inch forward. Doesn't want MKLeo to keep him in there. Gets the cross up with the fair, but still, Leo holding center. Okay, of course, he's going to do it for Tipper up air. That will definitely kill at this percent, so Captain L is going to have to be careful. Of course, tech chase. And every time, oh, keep your eyes open gosh. to this one. He manages to it's keep seeing MKLeo tech yes. in. Yes. Every exactly. time. Exactly. What are you going to do with that information? That That's is the name of the game. Because MKLeo could ac actually be doing that on purpose just to make Captain L think, wait, wait. Oh, it does wait. not matter. Okay. okay. The chase. Held my breath a little bit. Captain oh, L no. misses the tag. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, okay. We live in the. We live it. We are live. We're live. All right. Yes, we are live on twitch.tv slash esports arena. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Crosses him up like that, but he gets the oh, grab. Yeah. Get it out there of here. it is. And Immediate. Yes. Uh, of course, Will Smith, man. All day. Jeez. What a first game. I actually have to say, Captain L did a really good job. We saw a lot of knockdowns, a lot of good tank chases. Absolutely. Um, in the first stock, and even in the last stock, too, you know, he was keeping up the pressure, but MK Leo. Just, I don't know, man. That down air to the, the tipper, after all the momentum that Captain L had, yeah. th that's all he really needed, dude. Yeah. He was like, let me just catch you with this yeah, down air. Let me just get this out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy, dude. Yeah. But here it is, game two, Dreamland 64. I love it. The stage selection here. Of course, he's going to be extremely mobile. I'm assuming that MK Leo went ahead and uh, banned a Lilac. You don't want to have that, especially for Pikachu, because of the moving platforms. It's going to allow you to do a lot of things with Quick Attack that you usually never will because of the moving. There's a lot of cancels, but. Stage is a good look. True, Not man. really getting damage, though. You remember that in the Brawl days? Those mm -hmm. quick attack cancels? Yeah. Ooh, ridiculous. Jake, you catch the fair. Oh, okay. immediate perfect shield right there. And I like the slide back right there, getting that. Just putting out the down tilt, trying to be safe. Yeah. And like you said, right, Bam? The versatile recovery. There are many different options. I see that cancel oh, right yeah, there. Okay, the edge. okay. I saw that. Okay. But yeah, you know, you when you have the quick attack, you're able to like aim in different directions. And you have two parts to it. So you can keep it uh, unpredictable. You also have the, sc uh, the skull bash, too. Yep. That allows you to get some good horizontal distance while coming back. And here it is. MKLeo taking a decent amount of damage right now, trying to come back on stage with these jolts. We're running okay. along the oh, stage. Yeah. Good thing didn't get a temper there. That would have been the end of the stock. Okay. I like Looking it. Down there. What's the chase? Trying to force the ledge trap situation. Just keeps trying to get free damage. You know, I kind of yeah. like mm -hmm. it. But Leo, Jab you saw that, right? Mm -hmm. When you're, this is the thing that separates a lot of, you know, Smash players from like people that probably may not uh, like play the game competitive that level. Because yes. a lot of times, you know, people when they play normal fighting games, they try to go for immediate follow-ups that they think always work. But as right. you saw right there, MK Leo jabbing, acclimating, to, uh, actually not acclimating, uh, reacting to the DI right there. Absolutely. So I just want to say one thing, right? Yeah. Right now we've seen two 
up throw kills come out of MK Leo. And I think that's very telling of how Captain L is playing defensively. He's playing very strong, he's avoiding a lot of the kill options for the most part. And that is something that you have to do. Like, if you're able to do that too against a player of yeah. the caliber of MK, MK Leo, that is a beautiful thing. Just right now, it seems like offensively, he's not doing enough. Even though he's been getting those knockdowns, he's not been able to go in and really cash out on them, on those tech ends either. So I'm hoping we can see that from him here so we can make this game a whole lot closer. I have to say, man, that brave quick attack on stage really scared me, but it allowed him to get a hit on MK Leo. Getting the neutral air after putting out the fair when you saw MK Leo dodge it. Nice pullback too, because that up smash could have taken him out. As he was in the air. See, yeah, neutral air. Oh, neutral actually going finish. for the back air. I'm a little scared, but he gets okay, the KO. I, like I mean, that. that's 198, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that. Might as well get yeah. the KO. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I hope so. Oh. oh, scary situation right there, of course. You know, Mark Sipper, crazy acceleration whenever you, that manages to connect. The knockback is quite great. Here it is. Platform actually saving MK Leo right there. Yeah, absolutely. Also, you notice uh, at those same kind of late percents, like either close to triple digits or, or just triple digits in general, we see MK Leo actually go for a down throw up air instantly every single time. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if, in general, that we're later on, maybe we will see him just go for the up smash to close it out. It might be too far at this point, but again, he keeps guessing right, Captain L. So he's been able to live in situations that most people would be dead by now. Yep, and there it is, MK Leo managing to get the forward, well, actually, the forward tilt confirmation off of the jab, managing to help him get this game. But remember, guys, um, when we're in the top 32, of course, we are locked in in three out of five. Uh, best of five sets, of course. Yes, uh, and currently it is actually 2-0. It is 2-0 currently yes. right now on MK Leo. Absolutely, man. And you know what's really cool? When you have those matches playing on the side as well, this allows us to just like immediately tune into another match that's happening. But here it is, 2-0. MK yeah. Leo versus Captain L. Again, Canada versus Mexico. And right there, Captain L trying to see if he can get that follow-up. But MK Leo, perfect shielding just in time. Yeah. <gasps> the brave man. Missed the grab the first time. Was like, you know, I'm going to run it back real yeah, quick. Why Ain't going to expect it. Okay. And uh, just an update right there for us. AC defeats Z, 2-0. There it is. Yep. Uh, that's a uh, Vegas representative right there. Great job to AC. Of course, um, if I'm not mistaken, Bam from Mexico, but lives in SoCal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, for Z? No, no, oh, no, no. For no. Macy, yes. yes. Come on. All right, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the active frames on that down air, too, mm -hmm. works out pretty well on these normal getups. And you notice that actually pulling back. Too, just to try to cover the uh, roll? Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. You can do a lot of great option coverage with that move because uh, Pikachu's going to have that area mobility in tandem with that huge hitbox. Oh, an up smash. Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> that was moving. Yeah, okay. that, that was an answer. Yes. It's like, yeah, I mean, if you're in the air, <laughs> yeah. I got to move for you. Right. <laughs> It's gonna hurt. Yep. Yes, sir. Good swing there. Wow. Beautiful tipper bear. That's not gonna call it the stock yet, but that gives him a ledge opportunity. If Leo were to get that though, I would have went ballistic. Me too. Still a good attempt. No, and I love it too because again, for uh, those of you who may not be aware, when Pikachu does go ahead and do a quick attack, the hurt box is wildly extended. Yeah, exactly. So it's something that is more susceptible to being hit by two frames than other things in this game, or just hitting it earlier beforehand. Yeah. Captain Lewis. <laughs> he's out here, man. He's moving. It's like he's on a playground. You oh, know, yeah, just, oh, yeah. Just wall jumping. Look, oh, look what I can do. You yep. ever watch Mad TV? Oh, yeah. All right, let's give it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, okay, MK Leo this time, recognizing that, you know, Captain L likes to uh, sometimes quick attack on stage, but yeah. once you have the edge, it's a little harder. Nice cross up. Oh, okay, that would have been really nice, but that Nair missed. That was definitely a decent bait. Oh, man. And, oh, oh, hey. oh, oh. Okay. L. Yeah, no, L's moving. I love this. This play, yes, up, smash, uh, up B out of shield. And a reverse one at that, yeah. too. Smart okay, right there by MKLA. We're noticing the cross-up attempts by Captain L. Yeah, well done. I mean, that's something that we don't see nearly enough, in my opinion. But, man, when you are capable for your character to have up B out of shield, use it. It's not just Cloud. There's a lot of characters that have that capability. It's true. You know, reminiscent of the old school Meta Knight. Back in the day, oh right, yeah. the shuttle first loop shuttle loop out of shield, oh, man. and he had invincibility. Yeah, I never want to see that again. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys called it that the good old days, <laughs> something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a good catch. Of course, he's gonna get that trap. I mean, yeah. a fair pull down. Here we go. Forward throw. Okay, look at that let's trap. Nice, but the regressive option from the edge right there. Kaleo trying to get back on stage. Yeah, good job. And he's going to go for the uh, the down iteration right there to make sure he maximizes on the damage there on the side B. Really well done. 
Interesting DI right there by MKLO, trying to give himself enough space so he can get back on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Captain L's movement, man. Yes. I love it, man. Incorporating like drips. Oh, 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 bam, bam. bam. Did wow, you notice? Okay. Yeah, something different. And yeah. it, it was almost as if L, a, yeah, Captain like, L yeah. knew. He's what like, I know you're going to change it up eventually. <laughs> I know you're going to change it up you're eventually. You're not going to go yeah, right. every time, buddy. You're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you have K Leo. <laughs> you got mix ups. Yeah, you got mix ups. <laughs> <laughs> and. And of course, Captain L hitting with the Hanan mix up, the ultimate mix up. Damn, look at this movement. Yo, Beto, uh, this is Beto. Yeah, yeah Beto, man. Yeah, if, in case I didn't know. Beto. <laughs> People were like, yeah. Oh! Oh! He thought his head, yes, yes. Captain yeah. L. According to plan. Damn, man. Yeah, man, there's a lot of sick tech that people are yeah. able to incorporate, you know, using the Beetle Control Scheme. And it's funny because every time people go out of their way to teach others in the scene that, hey, there's some, you know, secret new tech or a secret new uh, or an advanced way mm -hmm. to approach the game, the first thing that I always hear from people are, is, that is not practical. That'll never be used in tournament. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Come Watch on, and man. learn. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, please. Here it is, Captain L pushing MKLeo to a fourth game scenario, even though MKLeo had the dual lead. Let's go to final destination. Yep. All right. So already getting a, off to a good start here for Captain L. Yeah, amount of damage. I don't think he's trying to deal with any of Mark's great range. Yeah. Here it is already the Dancing Blade tacking on a quick 18. Scary stuff. But he has the jolt that yes, actually gave him free was, passage. Oh, man. That was, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely <right>? free passage. <laughs> the, it was like Sanctuary. <laughs> sanctuary. And then the, 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 jolt, like, the jolt, like, part of the Red Sea. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> you get him with that Moses light. He definitely did. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, my. Did you see that? That back? Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Oh, my gosh. Fourth door again. Okay. Yep. It's, I'm killing me up. Okay. Let's trap. Nice! Gets yeah, in there, really pushes well it back. Done. Another okay, ledge trap situation. Goals. Oh, I'm killing this, and I'm just gonna okay, jump above the ledge. Look at these, man. These, a lot of these perfect pivot crouches. Yeah. He's moving back and forth, lowering that hurt box. I love it. Notice how right there, Kaleo immediately reacted to actually uh, Captain L being a little bit, you know, right. just a little out of range yeah. for that fair attempt. So good punish by Kaleo. Absolutely. He still has to rack up a little bit more yeah. damage. So one of the nice things I'm seeing here from Captain L is yeah. most people, when they are in neutral, they're not able to utilize perfect pivots to the efficiency yeah. of MK Leo. But because, of course, Captain L, this guy's a very technical player, Jeez. and he's also someone who you're going to see that just in general, is, he's going to be using Voodoo and whatnot. Dude, he's going to be doing stuff time again, and I think that's just messing up the pinnacle of spacing that we see. Oh, MK Leo. can we talk about MK Leo? He said, all right, man, I'm just going to up the high buff. Put that hitbox out there because you're probably going to be charging for yeah. an attack, right? And the cool yeah. thing about that is if they do try to charge an attack, at least they increase their knockback if you hit them. But Ooh, there that is. is the stock and Captain L movie. I'm telling you, dude. Ooh. He's catching MK Leo right here. I'm just like, people, it's not practical. Come on, man. <laughs> it's not practical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, save, it, save it for someone who cares about yep. it. Sorry, right? <laughs> like I said, man, just be a witness. That's it. Oh, but MK is staying right on top of it right now. Good catch. Doesn't get a temperate bear, though. Okay. Option here. Oh, nice. He'll take that trade. It's only 1%, right? Negligible. Oh, my good catch. Beautiful. Getting the, the jab up tilt time and yep. time again. Yep. Jab cancel. Going into that up tilt. It's going to close up the stock. But again, you're not seeing early kills come out of MK Leo, and that is extremely important here. Yep, and you already hear people in the crowd screaming, too, because they're excited for this match, man. Yep. A lot of times, when you see MK Leo play, you expect people to get uh, kind of blown up. Yeah. But right here, <laughs> Captain O's like, no, nah, man, this is, I'm repping Canada right no, now. Absolutely. And this guy is playing some noose, man. Yeah. So his neutral is <laughs> the, actually the pretty neutral. nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like it, man. He's the not taking too here. many unnecessary hits. But right now, he's kind of stuck in the air. Finally gets his footing. Yep. Oh, and release MKLeo the shield way catch. too soon. Yeah, I like that a little slight hesitation right there from MK Leo to make sure that he can get through that shield. Yeah. What's up? Good roll back by MKLeo, but there it is again, the wow. aggression. Oh, the grab. Okay. I love it, dude. He's keeps See? catching these tipper up there. Exactly, and notice now, now he is waiting. The first game, like first couple games we saw, he was conditioning him in a way that he'd always go, automatically go for a buffer uh, double jump up air. Now he's going for the wait, giving him the delay, and he's going to be able to, you know, get some payment off that. And probably that's what's going to actually allow him to close out the set. Oh, and right there. 
Captain L trying to see if he can just get inside, man. You know, Pikachu does have a lot of good tools, but Pikachu's range, not quite that amazing. Oh, 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 oh. there we go. I like the little blender right there. Oh, of course, yeah. It's like, oh, you have to tear. Tear. No, safe. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's time for Is that how they say it in other countries? <laughs> anyway, but here we go. <laughs> Again, right in time, Kaleo gets out of yep. harm's way, back on his feet, 127%, farmed a decent amount of range. Exactly. Oh, sneaky sneak. And, wow. Okay. Oh, okay, we're okay. waiting. Cliffhanger, Sopranos. Yep. There you go. <laughs> They're not Watch that. Oh, man. yeah, and anticlimactic. <laughs> there you have wow. it. 3 1. Good job, Tam Kaleo. Yeah. Repping Echo Fox. Repping it well. No, absolutely. Getting that W2. Yeah. So solid as a player, I have to say. It was a really exciting.